Hi everyone, it's that time of year again when you need to be thinking about your 2016 JMAs. This will be the first step to the commitments you'll be making for 2016. However, I want to remind you that this is just the beginning of those JMAs. Many of you have heard me say it a few times now, it's not a sprint but yet a marathon and the goals are to grow. JMAs are a key component to how you can make that growth happen. In saying that, we must mention that follow-up continues to be an important step to the JMA process. If you haven't done so already, you might want to take a look at your 2015 JMAs and what commitments you have in place. Are both parties involved in the JMA following through with what you put in writing? Now, when considering and planning for your upcoming 2016 JMAs. If you're a distributor, you must do no less than six JMAs. Out of those six, one must be with a supplier you haven't recently done one with, and one must be focused on a PCR category that you're focused on to grow. Again this year, Mike and I will give you a category to focus on, so please watch for my personal email note to you in regards to this. Now, if you're a supplier, the minimum number of JMAs is the same for you, and you must also do six. However, we do know many of you will do many more than six, which is really great. For all of you, keep in mind, it's more about quality versus quantity when we measure the success of the JMAs. So be strategic in who you plan to participate in a JMA with. We also want to remind each of you some important steps to placing your JMAs online. Make sure you are selecting all contacts first before doing the entries on your JMAs. This is an important step that some people forget to do. The reason we encourage you to do this is to make sure that all people involved on the JMA have an opportunity to view the JMAs on the SMG website. If you don't select all parties, then only company administrators will see the JMA. In some cases, you may need to set up a new user on the SMG website in order to put this in place. If you don't know how to do that, please reach out to me via email and I can send you a few short steps to get that completed. One other important item that needs mentioning, either party must approve the JMA in order for it to count. So if you're the one doing the administrative function or loading the JMA, the other party needs to go in and approve it. Don't rely on the system's automatically generated email to remind the other party that the JMA needs approved. People get busy or sometimes that email may go to spam and just sit there. My suggestion would be, if it hasn't been approved in a week or so, follow up with that person you discussed the JMA with and find out why they haven't approved it. For some reason, a JMA got started, and this happens every year by the way, but it never gets completed and just hangs out there, or is never approved. Please delete that JMA from the system as to avoid any confusion. We can't always tell the intentions of the JMAs in the system, so it's up to you to validate them and make sure that they should be there. One final reminder, there's not a one-size-fits-all for JMAs, and the tool we provide you on the SMG website simply serves as a guide. You should make sure your JMAs are the right fit for one another, and they have goals that will tie into increasing market share and profitability. For those of you who are new to the group, and we have quite a few of you, JMAs will be all new to you, so please feel free to reach out to me with any questions. We have some other video tools I can provide to you to help you along your JMA journey. I can also schedule a quick walkthrough if need be, so please reach out if you would like to schedule a call. So now, what are you waiting for? Go get started and happy selling.